Coming from two generations of Navy, George joined the Royal Navy in 1952 at the age of 16. After initial training, he served as a steward for five years, either in barracks or on ship. It was 1957 when George was posted to Her Majesty's ship Navi. At the time, he did not know where he would be going. After spending a week loading supplies, they finally set sail at 7.30am on the 8th of January on a cold and wet morning. The Royal Marine Band played Royal Britannia at the dockside as they set sail. The only people who would see them off that day were the dockyard workers themselves. The next day they were informed that they would be heading for Christmas Island and would be taking part in the secret H-bomb tests. The ship George was on was a tank landing craft and it so happened that they were carrying the H-bomb along with army vehicles, earth movement equipment and other supplies. You've just been informed that you're heading to Christmas Island. Correct. Um, could you tell me about the trip? Um, it wasn't too bad until we got to the Mediterranean. Uh, we got into the Bay of Biscay and had a very bad storm. Uh, the Narvik being a flat bottom boat, uh, we rolled and pitched tremendously. We lost part of our bow doors and eventually had to go into Kingston in Jamaica for repairs. Uh, what activities did you undertake while you were at Christmas Island? Um, while I was at Christmas Island, my job was a wine bar steward. I worked in the wine bar uh, serving for the officers. What about the rest of the, um, the military presence? <sighs> um, such as, you know... What, uh, um, being involved in the small bomb tests, on one occasion some balloons were let go. Oh, you want the... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, at, at one time we, d we did a, or an experiment was being done with the ship. Uh, we let some balloons off from the um, stern of the ship. Uh, we went one way, the balloons went the other way, and the old idea was to see what distance we could make between the explosions and the distance the ship had travelled. Um, I was in the wine bar serving drinks at the time and there was a scientist there. I said to the scientist, what happens if the wind changes? Well, lad, he said, you put your, legs you put your head between your legs and kiss your bottom goodbye. Can you tell me about the dropping of the H-bomb itself? Um, the dropping of the H-bomb, um, every man had to uh, clear decks. Uh, we had our back to the bomb going off. We listened to the countdown. A uh, couple of minutes after the bomb had exploded, uh, we, were turned, we were told to um, about turn uh, to watch the actual bomb. Uh, the sky was a bright red, there was a huge boom. When we had our back to the bomb, um, it was like a, a radiator hitting the back of you. It was very hot, it was warm. We had our hands over our eyes. Um, you could still th see through your hands. Um, we had no eye protection where the scientists and the officers all had special glasses. Uh, when we about turned, um, as I said, it was just a bright red sky and um, do you think there's any honour in the use of H-bombs or atomic weapons? No, I wish it was never invented.